garage today we're just doing a little update on my channel it's been a while and i apologize but i talked in the previous video about um you know just um, some personal stuff going on in my life and uh been extremely busy but uh things have been productive and uh, things are going uh pretty well so i'm, I'm pretty blessed but i um, just wanted to do an update you've probably seen a video regarding the tesla um i had a little snafu with the door um and i'll make a video soon talking a little bit about that um and the door is right there you can see kind of what happened with it you can kind of put two and two together but um you know as far as the garage goes there's actually a new addition to, to the garage and it kind of came about because of that uh, accident uh, so what ended up happening is the tesla model x um you know I, I ended up driving the door open you know i had my little daughter she didn't close the door and the car alerts you but it's also really similar to the same alert that you get you know when the car picks up that you're right next to the wall so you, you get all these like you know beeping sounds and you kind of get desensitized to it and that's pretty much what happened you know it was cold i was trying to get in you know my daughter inside the house because she was outside in her pajamas and um you know just ended up hitting the door so i think it bent you know it cracked a little bit of the glass on the roof um bent a hinge so it wasn't like anything structural i think you know damage um you know it's more more cosmetic um <clears throat> but the hinges i think are aluminum so they a lot of times they don't replace the hinges they just replace the entire door and right now there's a lot of issues with parts um so we're gonna see this happened on december 23rd uh, we're um, in February now, so it's been a, a month, and um, they're telling me with you know because of parts issues, you know it may not be till March, but I was able to take it in, and they got the door closed um, at a body shop. There, you know they were able to force it down closed. So, you know I'm still driving the Tesla. It's not here. That's why it's not in the garage. My wife is out with it, but our new addition is a Porsche Macan Turbo. Um, so I know you haven't seen this on the channel yet, um, and you know I've been working so haven't really done much um i know i'm definitely going to be doing i already ordered the smoked uh lights for this for the side markers because that light actually went out um but it's a 2016 turbo macan um they're 400 horsepower i think zero to 60 and 4.2 or something like that which is comparable to what my Porsche 911 would run um but um you know it's this color kind of like a uh, carbon and I'm um, fully loaded with all the options. I have a key for this right now. But um, so the other news is I have my Mini Cooper, um, you know, my 2007. Um, everything's been done to that car, as you can follow in the videos. New brakes. Um, it's got top of the line brakes, you know, vented and discs. I took it to the racetrack at Summit Point and um, had a lot of fun with it. And um, obviously wrapped it with the black and red stripes. Um, replace the front windshield, replace all the fluids on it pretty much, you know, um, coolant, um, oil. I just had our oil change done uh, recently as well. Um, but the car's running well. Um, you know, I drive it around every day. But what happened was when I was without the Tesla, um, I realized the only other car that I have was the Mini Cooper. Now I have a family of five. So it's uh, my three daughters, you know, my wife, and we could not make, you know, the Mini Cooper work. Uh, for us trying to, you know, all the family around. And the rental that they give you for the accident is only for, I think, like 45 days, according to my insurance plan. So obviously the Tesla was going to take, you know, probably three months to repair, who knows. Um, but, you know, that's why, you know, I got a really good deal. I had a buddy that works at uh, Porsche Bethesda, um, and we worked out a really good deal. You know, obviously with, you know, used car prices right now, or car prices in general right now, it's kind of iffy, but um, you know, it's a you know 2006 Macan Turbo, and it's a fun little car to get around. And um, so we're gonna keep that. And then, so the news for the channel is the Mini Cooper is gonna be going. Um, that's why I did the oil change. I took it to a, a buddy, um, Burt, Mill, Burt Mills Automotive, um, and he did. You know, I looked over it, make sure that it'll pass inspection. The only thing he did was um, he replaced the uh, the belt, um, the serpentine belt. Um, it was still good, but you know, he's like, if it, you know, in order to pass inspection, it's a, it looked like it was an older belt, and you know, so he ended up just replacing that. He replaced the oil, um, and the car is, you know, good to go. So um, I'm going to be putting it up for sale soon. Um, so if you're interested in a 2007 uh, Mini Cooper, um, that Mini Cooper is going to be up for sale soon. You know, so 
you can reach out to me, um, you know, on here during the comments, or you can email me at um, redfirevenom at gmail.com, which if you any Cobra fans out there, actually right up there, there's a Red Fire Cobra. So that's where my email comes from, from back in the day in 2003 when I had, uh, you know, when I bought a uh, 2003 Cobra Terminator. So, you know, that's it for the channel update. Um, I'm going to be doing, you know, uh, for my sanity, I think I need to do a little bit of um, just work, you know, and maybe bring my, my daughters out here and, and um, help out uh, as long as it's not too cold and do some work. I know I'm going to do the smoked side markers. Um, I already have them here on my workbench. Um, so we're going to be, you know, doing the first mod on there. Eventually, um, maybe uh, uh, next year when I can really get back into the channel uh, more, um, you know, with more time, um, you know, I'll do some more, probably maybe doing a test, like a tune and a, um, maybe a dyno on the Macan um, just to have a little fun with it um, because they can, with a tune, you can easily get without really doing any modifications on these things. I've seen, you know, 460, 480 horsepower just from a tune. So you get a, you get a bump of about 80 horsepower and 80 torque um, just from doing a tune. So they're a lot of fun. Um, exhaust as well. Um, I've seen them and I've heard them, you know, even this one, you know, we'll do a video later on and you'll hear the exhaust. It's, I mean, it's a stock exhaust, but it has the uh, baffles that open and close. Um, and they're, they're pretty, they sound pretty good, you know, and they're the turbos. So you can definitely, you know, hear that. The McLaren is in hibernation. Um, I just started every couple, like every week or two. Um, it's got, it's got a battery tender on it. So when you go, so it's always connected, um, you know, so that the battery does not go dead. But, um, you know, until we, we reach 40 degrees or, or above, you know, these are summer tires. I won't be able to do much with that. Um, so that's going to be it. You know, thank you for joining me today. And I apologize. I know um, I've had a lot of people reaching out and it's, you know, really heartwarming. Um, you know, a lot of people reaching out, kind of making sure that I'm okay and making sure that, um, you know, in these times you never know, you know. So I really appreciate those that have reached out to me and just kind of, you know, ask me, but I, I, I still get a lot of comments on all my videos. Um, a lot of people thanking me for a lot of these videos that really helped out um, so many folks and so many people to save money. And, um, you know, it's amazing that three or four years later, after making some video um, to help people out, like there's still, you know, people that th these videos are making a huge impact, you know, in their lives and, you know, you know, being able to get their car back on the road or being able to save like a thousand dollars on something that they can do themselves and just teaching folks, you know, that you can do a lot of these things yourself. You know, I work with my daughters, you know, I try to teach my daughters as well. And, you know, if my eight-year-old daughter can change the oil on a Porsche 911, uh, so can you. So you all take care and stay safe.